Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So last time we left off, we looked at some keyword research and how to complete a build in Excel ready for upload into Google Ads. And um, so today we're going to talk through uploading this Excel document through Google Ads Editor. If you haven't got Google Ads Editor on your computer already, I suggest you go to Google, search for Google Ads Editor and download for your laptop or PC. Okay, so once you've got that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Google Ads Editor application, which will look like this. Um, so a couple of things you need to remember to do when you're using Google Ads Editor. So Google Ads Editor is Google's offline platform. So it houses all the data in your Google Ads account in an offline format and allows you to make changes that won't impact the interface until you click this post button over here. So whenever you open up Google Ads Editor, if you haven't already um, downloaded your account, you'll have to click on accounts and add your new account. And then you'll go through the login process of how you would when you log into Google Ads um, online to download the account that you want to use. Whenever you open your Google Ads account anytime, you must remember to get recent changes. And the reason for this is, like I mentioned just before, this is an offline account. So you need to get all recent changes that might have been made in the interface between coming in and out of the Google Ads and editor application. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and just click the get recent changes, go for more data. You've got a couple of options. Um, Initially, I would recommend just downloading all campaigns so you get used to seeing exactly everything that's in your account. Um, or you can use the option to cam download campaigns that are already downloaded. Um, this means if you've downloaded editor before, um, it will only re-download changes to the campaigns that are already here in your editor. However, I'd try to avoid this in case while you're still learning, um, you've made new campaigns within the interface and um, you forget about. So. You, it wouldn't automatically be shown here under the already downloaded, so I'd just stick to all campaigns. Once you've started using the account and editor a little bit more down the line, there's the option to download campaigns that I select, and this will give you the option um, just to pick a specific campaign, and if you've got multiple, you can choose whichever ones. Um, usually, you'll pick the active campaigns once you start using this more in the future. So for now, I'm just going to get the recent changes for all campaigns. So while this is downloading, um, I'm just going to get my Excel document data ready. Um, I can say I've got a little test campaign over here, which can just be ignored. This is just for the purposes of uh, my training. Um, so I'm going to nip back into Excel. And it's really, really simple to use Google Ads Editor. It'll become your new best friend when it comes to working in PPC and doing uploads. So the build we did last time, we talked about having the headers. So these need to be in place in order to match up um, in Google Ads Editor. If there's any spelling mistakes here or um, a headline that um, is incorrect, it won't import the data correctly. So you just need to check that all this is correct. So um, we're literally just gonna highlight it all, click the copy button, pop back into editor and go to the account at the very top, import and paste text. Paste that in there. So what you'll see here is you see the headlines at the top. These are actually a drop down function and you can change these. Um, so they'll automatically match to what was in your headlines on Excel. But I'm just going to show you quickly an example is if you had a misspell in there, what would happen? So we'll go back to Excel and if I just put a misspell on match type. And go through the same process, paste in the text. You'll see here, instead of saying match type, it now says not importing because match type, which I had written without an E on the end, doesn't match anything within Google's um, inventory for headlines. So yeah, just make sure that all this is correct and make sure you always check your headlines. Sometimes you'll have additional rows, so you'll have to scroll to the right. Um, so just to make sure they're all in place. Otherwise, when you process, it won't upload the data as it should. So I'm just going to quickly make that correct again, and we'll carry on with the upload. So, account, import, paste text, check your headlines, and then you can process the data. So what it's done here um, is it has created 10 new um, ad groups and uh, 24 
keywords for me. And then there's a, a one under the updated section. So the reason it hasn't created a new campaign is because the campaign that I'm uploading to already exists here from me building tests previously. When you create yours, if this is your first campaign that you were uploading through Google Ads Editor and you haven't got any existing campaigns within your Google Ads interface either, um, you'll also have a one added for campaign also, or two campaigns depending on how you've built out your Excel document. With the update section, like I say, it's just a keyword that was existing and it's obviously got a change on it. Maybe it's the max ABC um, or maybe it's the match type, whatever it is, um, we'll find out in a second. So if we just finish and review the changes, if you have made a mistake here, you can just click the revert and cancel um, section. It's really important that you drill down and double check everything that it's saying has been made, uh, changes that have been made so that you don't uh, miss anything that could have gone wrong. So we'll finish and review that and I'm just going to click this little keep button at the top. So within my test campaign now I've got my nothing's happened to me campaign um, I've changed it to the name test for the purposes of this um, learning session. The ad groups, so when you've got lots of data um, and you're at a top level on your account, if you've got multiple campaigns and hundreds of ad groups and you've just added 10 new ad groups for example, um, it's easy to sort by this little triangle, which is the change of status. So it, whenever there's been a change, a plus means something new and a triangle means it's been edited. So I edited the name of this ad group before we started this um, tutorial. So that's why I've got this little triangle here. You shouldn't be seeing this at this time because it's just new data. So you should only see the plus signs. Now for ad groups, you just need to do a little quick spot check. Um, you need to ideally have the default max CPC bid in place. This is basically um, an ad group bid that will be assigned to all keywords within each ad group if you've forgotten to um, add a keyword level bid. Um, and then Google will default to the ad group level bid. It's probably unlikely that you'll use this. Um, I always just set it at one, just so there's something there. So that'll be one pound. Um, you, you know, you'll be used to setting keyword level bids and you'll often now with Google Ads automated bid strategies be moving more towards a bid strategy which doesn't require keyword level bid anyway. Once you've checked that you're going to go through each section that you've uploaded to make sure it's right. Next up we've got keywords and targeting so we've got 27 keywords that have been uploaded. So here's the example of um, where there's multiple keywords and some aren't new. So if I sort it here again I've got all my new ones with the pluses and one edited one that I changed earlier. Um, so I can just check on the right hand side panel all the information about these individual keywords. So I've got a bid of seven, if I click through a different one, I set the bids for all of them to seven. I'm just going to select all those keywords, just do a quick spot check. And I can say the keyword varies, that's because we've got different keywords selected. But all the match types are the same exact because I've done an exact match build, which is exactly what we want. And then all my bids are set to seven. So that's the quick checks you need to do to make sure that's all in place. Um, and then that is ready to post to go live into Google Ads interface. Um, we also did a quick build on um, negative keywords, which I'm just going to show you how to upload also. So if we just switch to my negatives tab, um, there's not as many headlines here you'll notice. We've just got the keyword and the match type. And in this case, when I've done the negatives, these are terms that I never want to appear for across my account, regardless of the campaign. So I'm going to apply this to all campaigns within the interface, um, within Google Ads Editor. Um, obviously, I've only got one campaign at the minute, but if there was multiple, I'd set it across all of them. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if you just highlight your data again, simple copy. Go back into editor, but this time we're going to jump into our negative keyword section on this manage panel on the left hand side and just click keywords negative. Now you've got options just add negative keyword at campaign level on a like a singular basis. So that would just add one in for you and you can write it over here and change the match type. Or you can go into the make multiple changes section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use selected destinations and I'm going to apply these as a campaign level negative keyword and I'm going to apply it to my test campaign. So this means these negative keywords will be applied across the whole campaign so that my keywords would never match out to these terms that I don't want to appear for. Again, obviously we've only got an exact match campaign on this um, tutorial as the example. So your negative keywords are going to be used more for when you're doing broad match modifier phrase or broad keywords within the account to make sure it doesn't pick up irrelevant searches. 
the exact will obviously only match out to exact and um, synonyms or plurals of that. But for uploading the negatives, we're then going to um, pop the data into the right hand side in this section. Again, it's going to automatically match to your headlines that you've created in your Excel sheet. So just make sure that they're correct. Match type sometimes will default to criterion type, but that is the exact same thing. And I've added these terms as negative phrase. So it means that I don't want to appear in any sentences containing these um, words in this order. So I'm going to process that now. Got negative keyword and three added, which is exactly what we want. Finish and review and keep. And then at a campaign level, you can now see that these three negative keywords that I've created have been added and they are applied at where it says ad group, they are applied at a campaign level. So you can actually drill down and add negative keywords to individual uh, ad groups if it's bespoke to that ad group. Um, but most of the time, your negatives are probably going to be across account. So once all that's up and running, we can now um, post this live to Google Ads. So like I mentioned at the start, this is an offline uh, platform. All your data is housed in here by downloading it from Google, but it isn't actually, the changes that you're making isn't actually making any active changes within the Google Ads interface itself. It's all done offline. So you can use this to make as many mistakes as you want. It's a really good place to be learning. Um, so get used to using your Google Ads editor for making your changes. And then once everything is 100% correct and you are happy, you can then click the post option in the far right hand side. And just remember to always have it clicked on all campaigns. When you've got multiple campaigns within here, sometimes there'll be an option for um, just the campaign that, that you're in. So if I was just hovering on the test campaign and I had multiple others, um, so if I show you, I'll just add another campaign quickly. So if I was to post now, um, I'll call this, yeah, campaign two, we'll add some ad groups. And keywords okay and then post and um, you'll see here it'll say all campaigns are selected campaigns so try not to get caught out on this because if you're hovered on one campaign it'll only try and post that one campaign when you've got selected and um, so remember to always check and click all because of the otherwise sometimes you might miss changes that you've made in your um, offline editor and when you go to check your interface later you'll be questioning why they're not there and that will be the reason so um, I'm just going to go ahead and post this and you'll see it all turn in green as it posts and then close so this is all gone live to the Google Ads interface now and I'm just going to show you quickly online exactly where that is so if we navigate to ads And we'll just sign in here. So now what we should say is these two new campaigns live within the account. Just give this a moment to load. So we've got the test campaign there. Just double check editor. Yeah, make sure that's all posted. Yeah, there's nothing else left to post there. So I've got test and campaign two should be showing up there as well. So sometimes it can just take a couple of minutes to come through. I'm just gonna refresh this page. My second campaign hasn't come through as of yet. Just want to wait for that to come through just to show you exactly how it is working. Um, while we wait for that to upload, um, just be mindful that at the moment, this is obviously just a keyword build. So although you've uploaded um, these new keywords and campaigns into your account, even if you've got billing and everything set up, um, there won't actually be any um, there won't be any but there won't be any way for it to go live because there's no ad copy running in the account and um, so you'll see here under ads and um, there's zero ads available so although you've got keywords 
eligible to bid on until you write your ad copy, which we'll show you in another video, um, they won't actually be eligible to run. So I'm just gonna, sorry, repost that. Um, I think it was because there was a missing budget, so it hasn't gone live yet. So I'm just gonna post that again. Close that and then go back to the interface and do a refresh. And there we have it. So you can see the two new campaigns. So we've got the test campaign, which was originally there, and we've updated, and then we've got campaign two that we made just for the example within Google Ads Editor just now. Um, I'm gonna pop that as pause, even though I know there's no ads in there, just for an extra layer of security in case it adds in later and don't want it to go live. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. I hope you found it useful. Um, continue learning.